Hey friends, in this episode we're going to talk about my all-time favourite Hoover Junior. And what I hear you asking is your all-time favourite Hoover Junior, Steve? Well, I will flipping well tell you. So back in 77, possibly 78, Hoover um, revised the 1346A style Junior to become the U1036. Now that original machine, you've actually seen it on the channel previously. previously. It's uh, the, that great big pile of Juniors that I'm trying to work my way through and not really get, getting very far on them. In fact, I've pretty much given up because I hate them and they hate me. I will probably go back to them at some point, but uh, yeah, I'm in no particular rush, I have to uh, confess to you. So that style, I think, is a really nice looking cleaner. But in 1980, Hoover um, revised the uh, 1036 into the 1036 Mark II. And that's the one I have here, and I'll show it to you. So this is the 1036 Mark II. Um, and it's in um, a much more, I don't know what you call it, a much more um, sedate colour scheme. I think that's quite apt, actually. I, th I think that's quite a good word to use. Going from that uh, really garish 1970s, uh, I think it was like sunburst gold or something like that. It was crazy. Or Aegean gold? That just popped into my brain. Possibly. If you know, um, type it in the, in the uh, comments because um, you guys know, I don't know, I don't know anything. I just, I just make it up as I go along. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the uh, Mark II version of 1036, as I say, from 1980. And uh, Hoover released the, uh, the U4186 Hoover Ranger in 1980 as well. So uh, they were both the same colour, like a sandy beige and brown. Very 1980s. Well, no. Very early 80s, very early 80s. Uh, the sort of brighter colours came back as you went through the um, decades. You, know, you think about the turbo powers, um, um, maroon and blue um, and bright red and green. This was like a more muted time, really. And I think it, I, I think it works really well with this uh, particular cleaner. Now, quite why it's my favourite junior, I don't really know. I can't remember anyone from my childhood, any of my family or family friends, having this particular cleaner. Um, I can recall most of them. In fact, the only, really, the only junior I can recall um, was my Auntie Sandra and Uncle Ian. They had a 1104, which was the machine that uh, effectively replaced 1036. But that was like the common and garden uh, mink, light mink, dark mink one. It wasn't particularly anything special. They replaced a Hoover Junior Dirt Searcher with the 1104. I'm just trying to think when. Well, it must have been in the late 80s, mustn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was probably around 87 or so. And I think they got that... Uh, they got that dirt searcher for a wedding present, if memory serves, in about 1970. So it probably would have been a, no, 1971. So it would have been a 1354A. So it didn't do them too badly. And yeah, then they got the 1104. It's funny what comes back into your head, isn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling. I, I do this. I do, I'll leave a trail of breadcrumbs and then you can come back and find me, okay? So anyway, back to this one. So I've, I've been upstairs in the workshop and I've uh, restored this. This was one of the ones that came in the job lot that I got from Richie. And I already have one of these machines in the uh, collection. So this one's going to be for sale. So I thought, well, I'll do it up and then I'll make a video of it. I wanted to make a video about this particular model anyway, because it, it was my favorite. Um, but then it's also a good chance to um, show it in action. So when people bid on it, they can see that it works. This has had the usual series of work done to it, so um, the motor was taken out, taken apart and cleaned. Um, the bearings were oiled, 
uh, the seals were all checked and everything. And actually, the motor on this one came out really easily. I did have some trouble with the screw under the front cover plate. That had rusted in, but it's fine now. <clears throat> but as you saw with the uh, gold 1036s, I had a hell of a time trying to get the motors out of them, but this one came out quite easily. Um, the suppressor's been removed. Now this was the first one to not have the barrel, sorry, the first junior to not have the barrel style suppressor. They all had the barrel style previously, uh, including the original 1036 Mark I, but 1036 Mark II did not have it. It had an Electrolux style. Um, and if you look through my videos, you'll see uh, um, quite a good one to look at is the Electrolux 350. So where I take the suppressor off the 350's motor, it's exactly the same style of suppressor that was in this. It just has a, has a couple of little tags on it and it kind of goes across the terminal block. So if you imagine that the suppressor's there, it's got a couple of little tags that come out and uh, it just crosses the mains voltage. Um, what else? Um, I've replaced the belt on it, I've serviced the brush roll, um, given it a clean and a polish. There's a few scratches, there's a, quite a deep scratch here on the hood, which is a real shame. But elsewhere, nothing too bad. There's a little bit of wear here on the front of the furniture guard, a little bit there on the cover plate. All in all, it's quite nice. Um, original flex as well, which is nice to see with no splits in it. It has the, uh, this one's made in Britain sticker on the top of the handle, which is not in great nick, sadly. They always go, I mean, you know, this this machine is, let's let me check the date. That would be good, wouldn't it? When was it made? This was made in 1981. So, what does that make it? 39? Yeah, 39. It's 39 years old. Um, it's, yeah, it looks... Shockingly good, actually, for a 39-year-old junior. Um, it's a couple of paint, paint flecks missing off the handle here. Um, they didn't use great paint, sadly. This is really quite thin paint uh, onto, um, I think, aluminium. So the ad adherence the, for the paint onto the metal is not brilliant. So all in all, it's actually really nice. The only thing, the only thing, and this is such a shame, I just need to turn it around. Hopefully you can see this. I don't know if it'll come out particularly well on the video. I'll put it over there, maybe. See, the the window's over there, you see, so the light source is coming in this way, so it's all daylight and the camera can really struggle with it. But I don't know if you can see there, and I'm looking at it as well, um, there's a patch here, so there was paint on it, sadly, and paint is so difficult to get off these fabric bags. You can sometimes win if it's a water-based paint, this wasn't, this was not water-based, this, this was an oil-based paint. And I tried to scrub it off. I used um, white spirit on it uh, to try and get it off. And then I started to scrub the bag as well. And unfortunately, I realized that I was um, like scrubbing the pattern off the bag. So I thought, you know, that's a really bad idea. Don't do that. I got a little bit of it off up here. Um, there's a bit here. It's really quite hard for you to see, sorry. Um, if you see the eBay auction, you'll see the pictures. I'll take pictures of it. Um, and there's a little bit of paint down here. There's no holes or anything in the bag. The bag is actually really, really nice. Uh, I washed it as well because it was absolutely filthy. It was absolutely filthy. Um, the previous owners had been using it um, with a paper bag in there, but the, bag, the paper bag had blown off the um, bag throat and they just kept going with it. So it was all full of... <laughs> dust and fluff and dirt it was really manky uh, so yeah it needed a good a good wash and as I said to you previously do not under any circumstances put these bags in your washing machine hand wash only if I find out you've been putting them through your washing machines I'll come around and I'll spank you hand wash only um, and also as I have now found not a good idea to scrub them because uh, as I say the pattern has started to wear away in this patch so it's a uh, it's a shame but overall I mean you know it's 39 years old <laughs> so this this looks better than I did when I was 39 this looks better than I did when I was 22 so you know let's not be too harsh on it um, yeah all in all a really nice little mark 2 1036 so now I think we should 
take it into the lounge and see it running. Let's go.